with that, I'm going to just jump right in here um, and say good day. It is a good day. It is a good day. I am Reverend Ann Tabor, and of course, it is my great joy to uh, with you here today. Welcome to episode 42. I put a Myrtle on it. The place to be for a little Myrtle, a little prayer, and you know, just a teen, just a little, a little song. Although today we are making an exception because this Sunday, which is uh, August 22nd is Charles Fillmore's birthday. So happy birthday, Papa Charlie. Uh, and so today is a little bit of a detour. Um, we're going to put a little Charles on it today. Yeah, I'm going to uh, share with you from uh, one of his one of his books, actually one of my favorite of uh, all of his, his writing. So happy birthday, Papa Charlie. Yeah, we just celebrated uh, Myrtle Fillmore's birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I just think it's so interesting. Not that I don't know a lot about the Zodiac. I do not. Yeah. But I do think it's interesting that they were both Leos. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they knew how to get some things done. <laughs> Now, uh, if you are new to Unity, hi, Tony. Uh, if you are new to Unity um, and just not all that familiar uh, with our little uh, live stream program, uh, I'm just going to share a few little highlights with you. So Charles and Myrtle Fillmore are the co-founders of the Unity Movement. Uh, which they started cultivating and developing back in the late 1800s. And over this period of time, um, of course, Silent Unity uh, came from that, one of the longest running telephone prayer chaplain lines in the world over 125 years. And if you've not experienced that, I really encourage you to call Silent Unity, uh, either with a request or a celebration. Now, also, the Daily Word, here's my Daily Word, mm -hmm. the Daily Word magazine, which is read by, oh my gosh, hundreds and thousands of millions, really, of people from all different walks of, of faith. And you can also go to dailyword.com. Uh, Org, I think it is. Um, and you can read the Daily Word for free there if you'd like. But of course, I also encourage you to get a subscription. I get the large print, <laughs> even with my spectacles. Now, um, I am, of course, a licensed and ordained unity minister with a uh, Master of Divinity. And, uh, you know, I fell in love with these, these teachings um, they changed my life for the better. And what I know for sure is that they can do the same for you. Uh, they work if you work them, right? And so while I was in seminary, I coined this little phrase, put a moodle on it, even though today we're going to put a Charles on it. <laughs> um, and so every Friday, until otherwise notified, we are going to come together here, live stream 12 noon central time. Now, of course, if you miss being with us live, you can always catch it either in the archive or, or on our Unity of Arlington YouTube channel. But we're going to come together and just share some of the, these teachings. But I do want to warn you that, you know, new thought is not new age. And so there's no magic wand to wave. Um, this is really about your spiritual journey and your own evolution and, and awakening. And so often I share from one of two of Myrtle's books, either How to Let God Help You or Healing Letters. But today, drum roll, because we are celebrating Papa Charlie's birthday. I'm going to be sharing from his book, prosperity. Now, you can look up Charles Fillmore and the many different books that, that he's written, but this is just one of my favorites because it's so, pardon the pun, it's so rich <clears throat> with wisdom and, and so many things. And so I'm going to be sharing, if you, if you happen to have this book or any uh, version of it, I'm going to be sharing from his chapter uh, six. So it's chapter six. 
And it's titled Wealth of Mind Expresses Itself in Riches. Wealth of Mind Expresses Itself in Riches. And I'm actually going to start on, for me, it's page 92, a little more than, than halfway down. Now, before I read this, I just want to tell you that this is one of my favorite passages of all Charles Fillmore's uh, teachings and, and writings. And once you hear it, you will know why. Here's what he wrote. You can do anything with the thoughts of your mind. They are yours and under your control. You can direct them, coerce them, hush them or crush them. You can dissolve one thought and put another one in its stead. Mm. You know, the way Louise Hay would say that is it's just a thought and a thought can be changed. And isn't that just so simple, but so true? You know, once we are aware that perhaps our thought is taking us down the rabbit hole, once we're aware of that, it is under our control to take a U-turn or a right turn or a left turn, but just to turn it around, right? It's under our control to change that thought. Okay, I digress. <laughs> so let me go back. You can direct them, coerce them, hush them, or crush them. You can dissolve one thought and put another in its stead. There is no other place in the universe where you are the absolute master. And isn't that true? Like I think of Viktor Frankl, you know, in his journey and what he went through. Uh, being a prisoner, you know, in um, one of the uh, camps in, in in Germany, you know, he knew he was in control of his thoughts. I know this is so rich. It's just easy to get <laughs> sidetracked. He goes on to say, the dominion given you as your divine right is over your own thoughts only. When you fully apprehend this and begin to exercise your God-given dominion, you begin to find the way to God, the only door to God, the door of mind and thought. Now, just think about this for a minute. What would happen in your life if you read just this one paragraph every day? So I'm going to read it again, and I will try not to get distracted. <laughs> Here we go. You can do anything with the thoughts of your mind. They are yours and under your control. You can direct them, coerce them, hush them, or crush them. You can dissolve one thought and put another in its stead. There is no other place in the universe where you are the absolute master. The dominion given you as your divine right is over your own thoughts only. When you fully apprehend this and begin to exercise your God-given dominion, you begin to find the way to God, the only door to God, the door of mind and thought. Hmm. So just let that, that sink in. Now I am going to move along to, this is at the end of the chapter. So if you happen to have this book or some version of it, I'm now at the end of lesson six. And uh, I'm going to read quite a bit of, of this. Here we go. Mr. Fillmore wrote, Jesus used the small quantities of loaves and fishes to produce a great quantity of loaves and fishes. Elisha used a small amount of oil to produce a great amount of oil. So when we bless our money or other goods, we are complying with the divine law of increase that has been demonstrated many times. Another step in the demonstration of prosperity is the preparation of the consciousness to receive the increase. In other ways, we're talking about how you pave the way, 
how you become open to receive. He says, I love this. This is, this is so great. If we pray for rain, we should be sure we have an umbrella with us. Mm -hmm. That's how confident we need to be in what we affirmatively pray for. If we pray for rain, we should have an umbrella with us. He says, you read in the third chapter of 2 Kings how Elisha caused the water to come from the invisible and fill trenches in the desert. But first, the trenches had to be dug in the dry ground. That required faith. But the kings had it. And they dug trenches all over a large valley, just as Elisha had commanded. It was through the understanding of Elisha, who knew the truth about the invisible substance, that this seeming miracle was accomplished. Yet the trenches had to be prepared. And you must prepare your consciousness for the inflow of the universal substance. Hmm. It obeys the law of nature just as does water or any other visible thing and flows into the place prepared for it. It fills everything you hold in your mind, whether it's a vessel, a trench, or your purse. So, you know, if you're not aware of this, you know, Mr. Fillmore teaches over and over again, if you're looking for an increase Take your purse and bless it. Bless what you already have. That is the key to opening up to be even more receptive. He says, it is not advisable. Now, here is a very clear instruction. It is not advisable to hold too specific a demand. This is wonderful. He says, you might visualize $100 and get it when $1,000 was coming your way. Do not limit the substance to what you think you need or want. Rather, broaden your consciousness and give infinite mind freedom to work. And every good and needful thing will be provided to you. Now, this is why if you've been with me or you know me at all, when I talk about the practice of prayer, affirmative prayer, the perfect prayer, in all circumstances, particularly if you feel divinely guided to, to, to pray for something specific, but always this or something better, God. This or something better. Mm. He says, make your statements broad and comprehensive so that your mind may expand to the infinite, it's with a capital I, meaning God, to the infinite, rather than trying to cram the infinite into your mind. Mm. Amen to that, right? Okay, so I'm just going to take a breath here because I also want to give you a moment. Mm. Good day, Callie. Good day, Marie and Keith. Mwah. I love you. Happy to see you here. Mm. Yes, thank you, Alden. This or something better. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you at the end of uh, this, this particular lesson, lesson six, and oh my goodness, this is classic Charles Fillmore. Um, you know, in um, with our uh, Centers for Spiritual Living, uh, cousins, brothers and sisters, uh, this would be called a spiritual mind treatment. Um, for us, it is simply a prayer, an affirmative prayer. And so I want you to really get yourself in a position now, because this is, this, is, this is the last reading before we move on to our prayer and meditation. It's just so lovely. And I want you to know this for, for yourself. Here's what he wrote. He calls it statements to broaden the mind and fill it with the richness of substance. Hmm. Here we go. Infinite wisdom guides me. Divine love prospers me. And I am successful in everything that I undertake. 
in quietness and confidence, I affirm the drawing power of divine love as my magnet of constantly increasing supply. I have unbounded faith in the omnipresent substance increasing and multiplying at my word of plenty, plenty, plenty. Father, I thank thee for unlimited increase in mind, money, and affairs. Hmm. I'm going to read it again because it's just so powerful. So I encourage you, know these words for yourself. Here we go. Infinite wisdom guides me. Divine love prospers me. And I am successful in everything that I undertake. In quietness and confidence, I affirm the drawing power of divine love as my magnet of constantly increasing supply. I have unbounded faith in the omnipresent substance increasing and multiplying at my word of plenty, plenty, plenty. Father, I thank thee for unlimited increase in mind, money, and affairs. And so it is. So again, Today, put a little Charles on it. <laughs> so we've had a little Charles. And I also just want to remind you that, you know, this is the, this is the teaching, right? This is the spiritual principle. And so the point is that you then take that into practice. And at a certain point, that practice is going to become your life. This practice becomes your life, your life as your ministry, your living, breathing um, expression of, of God. And you will be pulled by a vision of how to do that. And so with that, I invite you now to settle in for our time of prayer and meditation. And I encourage you to uh, allow my words to be your words. And there's a reason for that. Um, as we go through this guided uh, meditation, I want you to be experiencing it as I am. And so in other words, you're not hearing me say you are. I want you to experience this as I am. And so let us do just that. Turn within. Hmm. Settle into this precious, sacred moment. <sighs> and so I give myself permission to be fully present here and now. I allow my thoughts, my words, my actions, my deeds to come into alignment with my true nature, my love nature, my God nature, my good nature, my Christ nature. And so I bless my body. I take a quick scan of my body temple and I bless my body knowing that my body blesses me. I love my body and my body loves me. And so I bless my mind. <laughs> I bless my brain, two completely different things. And so I mind my mind. I mind my thoughts. I mind my words and my deeds. Hmm. I bless my skin suit, this wonderful skin suit that I get to walk around in, my bone structure, my eyes, my nose, my lips, my ears, my teeth, my gums, my tongue, the power of my tongue. And so I choose to speak words of life. I bless my throat chakra. I choose to speak powerful words of truth. 
my arms, my hands, my fingers. I bless my heart chakra, this beautiful organism and all the magnificent ways in which it works and functions and supports me. I bless my entire chest area, my lungs, my capacity to breathe. I do not take this for granted. I bless my capacity to breathe, to breathe life, the life of God. I bless my gallbladder, my kidneys, my liver, all of my internal functions and my nervous system. I bless my pancreas, my colon, the power to release back to the earth. I bless my back, my lower back, my spine. I bless my entire pelvic region. I bless my thighs, my knees, my calves, my ankles, my feet, and my toes. Hmm. Hmm. I am grateful for, I'm grateful for my feet. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be grounded and to be rooted And so I just lift my feet ever so lightly as I'm able off of the floor. And I allow them to circulate in one direction. And now I circulate them in the opposite direction. And so I place them back on the floor ever so gently. And so now, once again, I scan my body temple from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. And I am aware of this radiating glow of health that is coming from me. I know that mighty currents of God's healing love are always flowing through me and from me. And so right now I allow any areas in my body or mind that are out of alignment, I allow them to to make themselves known right here, right now. It could be a particular body area that maybe has some tenseness or or tightness. It could be about work or play or rest or nutrition. I, I just allow whatever is wanting to reveal itself for that to happen right here, right now. And so now I allow these areas that are just glowing with radiated, radiating health to just simply move through any of these areas that are wanting to come back into alignment. And I am grateful for this healing power within my body. I am grateful for this healing power within my mind. And so I allow my mind, body, and spirit to be in alignment. In alignment with my true nature. And so I take all of this now into the silence in that beautiful sacred space of quietude for just just a few moments to simply rest in this soft space and to experience God here in the silence.
Mm. Right here, right now, I remember that love, the power of love, is the great miracle cure. Love is the great harmonizer. Love is what holds together our entire human family. And so as we begin to move forward from this time in prayer and meditation, we take with us this knowing, this knowing that love is the greatest power in the universe. And I get to show up as the presence of love. And for this, for this truth, I simply say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen, amen, and amen. Ah. <sighs> Mm. Mm. And so ah, we've had a little Myrtle, a little prayer, actually a little Charles, <laughs> a little Charles, a little prayer. And now it is time for a little song. Now, this is super easy. This is a very simple song. So if you don't know it, do not worry. Uh, you can join right in. We're going to sing it three times. Here we go. From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, I'm healthy and whole in mind, body, and soul. From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, I'm healthy and whole in Mind, body, and soul from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. I'm healthy and whole in mind, body, and soul from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. I'm healthy and whole in mind, body, and soul from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. I'm healthy and whole in mind, body, and soul from from the top of my head to the tips of my toes. I'm healthy and whole in mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. <laughs> thank you for singing with me so you can drown me out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And guess what? That is how you put a Charles on it. That's how you do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much uh, for uh, being here today, whether you were here in person for the live stream or catching it later on the archive in the archive or on our YouTube channel. You are such a blessing and you are loved. So thank you for that. Now, if you would like to share this, um, this uh, put a myrtle on it, you can do that by simply clicking your share button. Um, if you'd like to share your spirit of generosity, we certainly are open to receive that. There are three very easy ways that you can give, and they're all posted with this live stream. One is to simply go to our website and click the donate button. We also use the Tithely text to give. A platform where you just simply text the word uh, give. And then, of course, the United States Post Office. So again, all of that is listed. And, um, and we are open to receive and grateful for your spirit of generosity. Now, I want to remind you uh, to join us right back here on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Central Time. Um, I am very excited about my message this uh, Sunday. And um, the message is we are all created with sacred worth. 
we are all created with sacred worth. And, you know, if this were, uh, you know, my former career was in television, right? Film and television. And so this is what I would call a very special message. <laughs> Um, I am going to be talking a little bit about um, a current documentary that is out on Netflix called Pray Away um, and how in unity we believe that we are all created with sacred worth, made in the image and likeness of God. And so I invite you to join us and, you know, I promise you, there are people that will that are in your life that will benefit from this message. So please invite them to to also join this. OK, with that, I love you. Oh, I really do. Mm. So thank you for being here. And until next time, peace and blessings. Mwah.